Woodgrove Bank has a single VMware server. This server was used for the bank's initial experiments with virtualization. Because a VMware solution was more expensive and didn't have all the capabilities they needed, like live migration in their lower-end editions, Woodgrove Bank decided to get the enterprise class quality of Hyper-V and the Server Management Suite Data Center. Since choosing to use Microsoft Hyper-V and System Center to virtualize their infrastructure, Woodgrove Bank would like to be able to manage their VMware server using System Center Virtual Machine Manager, or VMM. VMM offers this capability, allowing management of both Hyper-V hosts, Hyper-V virtual machines, and VMware hosts and virtual machines from a single interface. Here we can see Woodgrove Bank beginning the process of integrating their VMware ESX host into Virtual Machine Manager. VMM 2008 manages VMware hosts through VMware vCenter Server. To add the VMware ESX servers into the management console, we will add the VMware vCenter Server using the Add VMware vCenter Server action located in the upper right of the Actions pane. After launching the wizard, we'll provide the computer name of the vCenter server along with the administrative account for the vCenter server. VMM will add the ESX host including the existing host group structure from vCenter into the VMM interface. This task may take several minutes and we can monitor the progress from the VMM jobs menu. When all the servers have been imported, we'll be able to see the same VMware ESX host server structure in VMM as you see in vCenter. To add another vCenter server, we would simply repeat the process. While VMM uses vCenter to manage ESX hosts, it needs to be able to directly access the ESX hosts themselves for certain functions, such as virtual to virtual or V2V, saving state, and cloning VMs from ESX hosts. After we add the vCenter server into VMM, the hosts will show up as OK Limited. To enable full management, we go into the Properties page of the individual ESX hosts in VMM and supply the appropriate host credentials to directly manage the servers. Woodgrove Bank plans to migrate the VMs currently hosted on VMware to Hyper-V VMs. VMM can also help with this process. Here we can see VMM being used to convert a VMware VM to Hyper-V VM. There are three ways to convert a VMware virtual machine to a Hyper-V virtual machine. The first method is to use the VMM Convert Virtual Machine Wizard to perform a V2V conversion on a virtual machine that is on an ESX server host. The second method is to turn off the VMware virtual machine, store it in the VMM library, and then use the Convert Virtual Machine Wizard to convert the virtual machine. VMware virtual machines can be stored in the library by copying the VMDK and VMX files into the library share. The third method is to use the Convert Physical Server Wizard to perform a physical to virtual machine, or P2V, conversion on the running guest operating system inside the VMware virtual machine. Here we are seeing the initial steps for using the VMM Convert Virtual Machine Wizard in the VMM interface. Woodgrove Bank will use this method to convert their existing VMware VMs to Hyper-V VMs so that they can standardize on a single virtualization stack. After all of the VMs have been migrated to the Microsoft environment, Woodgrove Bank can retire that VMware ESX server or install Windows Server on it and move it into their existing Hyper-V cluster.